Hello, this is Lady Boulay, and I hope you're having a beautiful day. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for your thumbs up, for your comments, and thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for all you do to support the channel. Well, by now, everybody has heard of the double tragedy in Memphis. Five black police officers beating a young black man within inches of his life over a traffic violation. That young man was transported to the hospital where he died three days later. And now they are arrested and charged with his murder. This is a black eye for black America. We all thought that if we had more black police officers patrolling the community that we could get a better outcome. How is it that somebody that's just driving, they say he was driving recklessly. Okay, it's still a traffic violation. You stop this person and somehow this person ends up being transported to the hospital on life support. This is just absurd. This is a double tragedy for black Americans because you've got a black victim and you've got black perpetrators. Five grown healthy men on one man. And it didn't occur to any of them that maybe they needed to say, okay, brothers, we need to back off. Or oh, that's enough. Neither one of them could grasp that they were participating in the brutality of black American men that we have been experiencing for three or four hundred years. Neither one of them could see that. They couldn't see that they were participating in the problem that black Americans have had since we landed on these shores. What is wrong with these people? Furthermore, they had no foresight. They could not foresee what the outcome of that day would be for them. Tyree Nichols had one tragic outcome, but they also have a tragic outcome. Their reputations, gone. Their livelihood, gone. Their freedom most likely gone. Most likely they are going to be found guilty of this because the community, the police department, and America are going to participate in them getting convicted. And we can be fairly certain that they will not be given the consideration or the excuse that five white police officers would have been given had they done this. So they have ruined their own lives. They had no foresight. In order to be a leader, and police officers are leaders in the community, you need to have insight, oversight, foresight, and hindsight. And I don't think they practiced either in that situation. So the adrenaline gets going so much that you lose control over yourself and your reality. And then you end up in jail. You, the police officer, you're supposed to be arresting other people and then you end up in jail because you had no insight, oversight, foresight, or hindsight. Foresight could have told them that this might be the outcome of us doing this to this man. And just because he was alive when they transported him to the hospital, that still was abuse. That was still police brutality. So they still could have been charged. But this man lost his life. And now they're sitting up in jail. Now let's see who was involved. Demetrius Haley, Desmond Mills Jr., Emmett Martin III, Justin Smith, and Tadarius Bean. These are young men, most likely have families. They have children. And now they could be going to prison. I don't believe they've released the videotape of this, but I'm not going to watch it when they do. I, I already know that. I believe it was an eyewitness that said that it was reminiscent of the beating of Rodney King. Anybody who was alive back in the 90s remembers the beating of Rodney King. It just was another thing that just stunned the nation. But Rodney King survived. This is a defining moment for black America when we say black lives matter. Black lives have to matter all the time. It doesn't matter what race the perpetrator is, whether it's a black one, a white one, Hispanic, or Asian, male or female. If black lives matter, they have to matter all the time with everybody. These men should be prosecuted in the same way that 
that we would demand five white police officers be prosecuted if they did something like this because this is just unconscionable and the police chief of Memphis said that it was inhumane. There is no need to do that to anybody about traffic violations. And I'll go this point further because there's a lot of talk about Memphis, that Memphis is almost an ungovernable town. A few years ago, somebody just came up out of nowhere and shot the young rapper, Dolph. Now, those kind of people don't ever get beat by the police. The ones that need the beating, and I'll say it that way, but the ones that you would like to see arrested and prosecuted, they can't ever seem to figure out where those people are or whether or not they actually did something. But somebody driving around in a car, and he might have been on some kind of substance or he might have been drunk. I don't know what the situation was, but I know he didn't deserve what he got. Nobody deserves that. And that was not about race. That was about class. They thought they could get away with doing that because most likely this was a poor black man. So they've been charged. Five former Memphis police officers are facing second degree murder and other charges in the brutal beating death of Tyree Nichols, a 29 year old motorist who was fatally injured after being pulled over by police this month. A grand jury returned indictments Thursday against Demetrius Haley, Desmond Mills Jr., Emmett Martin III, Justice Smith, and Tadarius Bean. All five were fired last week in connection with the beating. Each was being held Thursday afternoon at the Shelby County Jail. Friends and activists gathered at a skate park in Memphis on January 26 to honor Nichols. Look who sent a letter of condolence to the family. Statement from President Joe Biden on the Tyree Nichols case. Jill and I extend our heartfelt condolences to the family of Tyree Nichols and the entire Memphis community. Tyree's family deserves a swift, full, and transparent investigation into his death. As Americans grieve, the Department of Justice conducts its investigation and state authorities continue their work I join Tyree's family in calling for a peaceful protest. Outrage is understandable, but violence is never acceptable. Violence is destructive and against the law. It has no place in peaceful protest seeking justice. That's all we need to read to know that the long arm of the law is going to come down on these five police officers. The fact that they are black is just going to make it easier for America to make a statement about law enforcement being fair to communities of color. One of the things that stood out to me was during the confrontation between Tyree Nichols and the police, he ran at some point, he ran. And the only reason people run from the police is because they're scared. But that is the one thing that we have to instill in ourselves and in our young people, do not run. The police have a responsibility. And they know that they have the law on their side most of the time. So they will take advantage of the situation and use the fact that you ran or that you resisted, even though they have you handcuffed, to try to justify brutality against a, a victim. Do not run. I can remember as a youngster growing up, I have five brothers and my daddy taught my brothers when they started to drive. If the police stops you, cooperate. Don't say anything. Don't argue back and forth with him. Cooperate. Give him your driver's license and say yes, sir, and no, sir, because your goal is to get out of that encounter alive. And you live to fight another day. I had a brother that took some police officers to court. My father said, you comply. And if they do something wrong, we'll take them to court. And one of my brothers actually took two police officers to court. And he won in court. He, he, it, because of the way they had conducted the stop and it was a traffic stop but he kept calm and he did what they said and he, they let him go and they thought it was the end of it but he went to traffic court he went before the judge and the judge called those police officers up and the judge reprimanded those police officers in court so you can win there are ways that you can win or there are ways to handle a situation but you have to keep your calm you know this man panicked. 
And I would go as far as to say those police officers probably had a reputation around that community, which is probably why he ran. I'm saying probably because I don't know. But I know that people run because they're scared. There's something threatening that's going on, usually, that causes the person to run. The person is afraid. Maybe it has to do with their past experience with the police. But he ran. They had another confrontation. And then there went the beat down. Three days later, this man is dead. This is shameful. This is absolutely shameful that five black police officers would do that to a young black man, frail looking black man. Maybe he had some other kind of problems. We don't know. And the next thing that happened is just bizarre. Two of the emergency medical people have been fired. Two people who were supposed to be giving medical assistance to a person in a stressful situation, in a traumatic situation, did something to get fired. They haven't said what they did, but they've been fired. Those five police officers and those EMS workers were most likely black. This is a black eye for black America. We really need a code of conduct for black Americans because people act like they don't know how they should behave. It's wrong that five white police officers had done this. It's just as wrong that five black ones did it. There has to be accountability for them. And the only way anything is going to change is that people have to be held accountable for what they do. And this is a good start because I believe that America is going to be happy to see five black police officers go into jail for beating a young black man to death. We can't even trust each other with our lives. This is a black eye for black America. I did not want to do this video. I was not going to speak on this. I was not going to speak on it because these things just wear me out. They just wear me out. But somebody asked me to speak on it. And so that's why I'm doing this video. So this is what I have to say. Okay. Thank you for listening. Let me know what you think about the video. Subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Share the video. And as always, have a great day.